Here on the Balancing Act, we like to share with you some beautiful, inspiring, yet underappreciated destinations worth exploring. This morning, we're showcasing some of the hidden treasures of the Arkansas Delta region as part of our My Travel series. And our tour guide is very familiar with this wonderful region. Please welcome Beth Weedauer, Field Director for the National Trust for Historic Preservation. Beth works with the Arkansas Delta region on rural heritage development issues. Thank you, Beth, so much for being here. Thank you, Beth. I'm glad to be here. Great name. Fantastic. Beths are cool people. Love it. <laughs> Before we get to this uh, beautiful region, the Arkansas Delta, I want to talk a little bit a little bit about you. What drew you to this kind of work and to this particular region? Well, I am a native Arkansan, born and raised in Arkansas, um, however, not in the Delta. Oh. But I am a lover of history and culture, and the Delta is rich in both. And so it was a natural attraction. And there's a, a grit and a determination to the people of the Delta. And that, on top of its scenic beauty, was a real attraction for me. I bet. Well, now that we have the 411 on you, let's take our viewers there on a tour of the area so that you guys can see firsthand some of the hidden treasures. Take a look. The Arkansas Delta serves 15 counties along the Mississippi River in eastern Arkansas. The region includes two intersecting national scenic byways, the Arkansas segment of the Great River Road and the Crowley's Ridge Parkway. The Great River Road is closely aligned with the Mississippi River, while Crowley's Ridge is a unique erosional remnant created during the Ice Age that rises as much as 200 feet above the otherwise astonishing flat floodplain of the Arkansas Delta. These two national scenic byways are used used as spines to guide visitors through the region with loops and spurs off the main routes for the travelers who want to venture further off the beaten path. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. I can see why so many people are drawn to this region. It's a very special place. It's incredible. And I also understand that there's something else special about this region, about the byway, and it's the soil. Let's take a look at that. The Arkansas Delta is one of the most fertile agricultural regions in the country, providing its own unique beauty through white fields of cotton, along with soybeans, rice, corn, and wheat. There is one undeniable truth about the Arkansas Delta. The land defines the people. However, what makes the land fertile is also what makes it fickle. The alluvial soils of the Arkansas Delta are literally the residual soil left behind after the shifting and meandering of the mighty Mississippi River. As such, the soil of the Arkansas Delta is made up of soil from everywhere upstream. Not only is the land diverse, it is also destructive. The same land that gives by producing some of the richest crops anywhere also takes away by its very nature with rain, drought, flood, and storm. Now, that is also fascinating. So there must be a, a love-hate relationship, if you will, with with the soil. There is. In fact, it's it's both beautiful and bountiful. It's a truly unique landscape, but uh, that relationship between the people and the land uh, is very special. And many years, the land causes us to prosper mm -hmm. uh, when the crops are, are great and come in, and it also causes much despair. And it has resulted in a people uh, who are very resilient, and folks in the Delta can withstand much hardship. Um, and I think you see that manifest in our music and our culinary traditions traditions and heritage throughout the region. That leads me to my next question because there, there, that would define the music, the emotion, everything that goes along with this love-hate relationship. Absolutely. The music of the Arkansas Delta is has had an incredible impact on American music from Sonny Boy Williamson to Robert Lockwood to Sister Rosetta Tharp and Johnny Cash. The music of the Arkansas Delta is the music of America. So we're talking blues, jazz, everything you think about when you Absolutely. think about the American musical tradition. Absolutely. It was born out of that hardship and that love-hate relationship with the land right here in the Delta. Now I understand that you have some Arkansas Delta trivia questions for me this morning. We do. We've got a couple of trivia questions. Okay. We'll see if we can stump you. Okay. Uh, let's see. What town was uh, closest to the la nation's largest maritime disaster, even larger than the Titanic? Larger than Titanic. Um, we're talking about the Sultana. We are. We are. So Great job. So I'm guessing Marion. You might be correct. Am I correct? You are correct. <laughs> in 1865, at the end of the Civil War, the Sultana was uh, carrying back uh, both Union and Confederate prisoners of war from Vicksburg and had just departed from Memphis when it exploded wow. with over 1,800 passengers. 1,800. So, A huge disaster. 1865. Yep. Let's see if we can move a little further uh, north. 
there was there is a town in Arkansas where Ernest Hemingway spent a significant I love Hemingway amount of time. Um, it, he wrote uh, portions of a farewell to arms in this town in northeast Arkansas Delta. Okay, so we're not talking about Key West, evidently. It's not the Arkansas Delta. That's where he no, uh, has similar. a home. Uh, oh, it's Piggott. It I want to live there Piggott. just because of the name. It Piggott. is Piggott. <laughs> you may have been coached on a few of these. Uh, Ernest Hemingway was me? married to Pauline Pfeiffer, whose family was from Piggott, Arkansas, and they summered in Piggott frequently, and he wrote portions of many uh, short stories as well as, as a farewell to arms in Piggott. And you have one more question for me, I right? do. Here's the clincher. Okay. What famous American musician was raised in a New Deal colony agricultural experiment in Northeast Arkansas Delta? In Northeast Arkansas Delta. Can you give me a hint? A little town named Das. What did he sing? Oh, there was a little song called Walk the Line. Okay, that had to be Johnny Cash. It was Johnny Cash. <laughs> there was a movie, too. There was that. Johnny Cash is one of our uh, better known musicians of the Arkansas Delta, and we proudly claim him. A rich history, Absolutely. Arkansas. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you, and come see us in the uh, Delta. Next time we go on a vacation, I'm taking my husband. We're coming to the Arkansas Delta. Fantastic. We'll look for you. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Now, if you would like more information, you can visit the website, deltabyways.com.